Now let us use Runge Gutta method uh, to solve a simultaneous differential equation. Okay. So let us take an example. This is a second order differential equation d2y by dx square plus dy by dx plus xy is equal to 0 with initial condition as x is equal to x0, y is equal to y0. We have to put dy by dx is equal to z0 that will that will give us that dz by dx is nothing but d2y by dx square. Okay. Now why we are going to put this because we need to uh, we need to uh, divide this entire second order equation into two different simultaneous ordinary equations and then we need to use a simple runge kutta method to solve this problem. Okay, so let us see that. Okay, uh, we will get dz is by dx is equal to minus z plus xy. Okay, hence we have two equations that is dy by dx is equal to f of xyz that is nothing but z and dz by dx is equal to g of xyz is equal to minus z plus xy. Now k and l are considered to be weighted mean here okay in order to solve these two equations simultaneously. Now uh, to solve uh, the two equations uh, by Runge Kutta uh, method okay first we need to find out how many number of iterations that is equal to n we have to repeat okay then value of k1. Now this k1 we need to find out uh, by uh, considering f okay that is first function that is z okay and another function that is l okay another function that is g so l1 is nothing but another weighted average okay so first we need to find out k1 okay by using this value of k1 uh, and l1 okay further calculations we have to do okay then k2 is found out by using this value of l1 okay now using this k2 we are going to find out this value of l2 okay so that this has to be solved in zigzag manner okay that is first we need to find out k1 then we need to find out l1 then we need to find out k2 then we need to find out L2, then we need to find out K3, then L3, then K4 and then L4. Okay. Finally, we will get value of K which is nothing but 1 by 6 into K1 plus 2K2 plus 2K3 plus K4 and value of L that is equal to 1 by 6 into L1 plus 2L2 plus 2L3 plus L4. Okay. And finally, we can calculate YG at xg is equal to y0 plus k and zg is equal to z0 plus l. Let us understand it with the help of example. Okay. So in this example, you can see that we put dy by dx is equal to z. Okay. Because of that, this entire equation is divided into two simple equations f is equal to z and g is equal to z square x minus y square. Now, the uh, initial condition is given that uh, at x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, okay, and dy by dx is equal to 0, okay. So, because of that, you can see that k, uh, dy by dx is equal to z, because of that, you will find this k1 will turn out to be 0, okay. Then we find out value of l1, okay, using this value of k1. Okay. So, that is minus 0.2. By using this k1 and l1, we will find out value of k2. Then, by using value of k2, we will find out value of l2. Now, by using l2, we will find out value of k3. By using value of k3, you can find out l3. Okay. From by using value of l3, you can find out k4. From by using value of k4, you can find out value of l4. And totally by uh, finding out k1, k2, k3, k4 by adding them into this formula, you will find out the final value of k which is then added to y0 in order to find out the yg and you can find out value of l by using l1, l2, l3 and l4 by using this formula. Okay, 
to find out the value of L and which is finally added into Z0 to find out the value of Zg. Okay, that is at uh, when we have two independent variables. Uh, that is uh, when we need to uh, solve the two equations simultaneously. Then we can use Runge Kutta methods in this manner. This is another ex another example for Runge Kutta method. Okay, here it is uh, it is directly defined that dy by dx is equal to one plus xy and dz by dx is equal to minus xy. So we just need to put one function as f, another function as g. Use the regular formula. Okay, what we studied in uh, previous slide, and then we can find out yg and zg. Thank you. So here, what we observe is that uh, this ordinary differential equation, uh, which are uh, quite uh, tough to solve in by any other method, higher order uh, ordinary differential equations can be easily solved with the help of Runge-Kutta methods. Thank you.